Calum está... the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros' blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches? No! My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. Even if your feelings for him are real, they get stronger with Rakmi. No! I really am in love with him. You better start praying like the rest of them. Huh? No, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything. Yes. Anything. <laughs> Eros? Please, his ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I'm a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. Ridiculous. Love potions are a myth. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me, and don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Ekati freely, but a love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine, and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mistios could procure these items for you. Please, Mistios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love and a lot of Drachmi. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Etios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. <sighs> Fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. The finest wine? Isn't much to go on. How will I get it? A shipment of expensive wine was lost in a shipwreck recently. Look around the wreckage in Pirate Bay, and you'll find a cask or two. If it hasn't already been pillaged by pirates. It's beached on the west coast of the island. Where will I find wild mushrooms? No, no. A new shipment of very special mushrooms has arrived at the customs warehouse. Fetch me some of those. That's all. I'll see to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done.
I should touch the warehouse. The Wildy Customs warehouse. Better get looking for those mushrooms. We should do fine. Though, they don't look safe to eat.
That lets the shipwreck with the wine. Hope the pirates haven't gotten here yet. and wild mushrooms. That's all of it. I should go to the girl and the witch at the temple. Here's everything you asked for. <gasps> Thank you, Mistios. Now I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. I've come this far. I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. What I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Etios. We'll just need a little snip of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mistios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's the one overlooking the sea. You've got to come! Once Aetios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. What's a little girl doing in a clay pit? Oh, Mistios! Hi, Mistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. 
I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. What you're doing for your friends is very nice. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Really? You think so? I was thinking of getting them some other things, though. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said. You don't look like you can afford any. Honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines. And a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay. And the abandoned mines are kinda scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It makes them happy and that'll make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you too, for helping me. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some gooey myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big scary looking person. These pearls you talked about, where can I find them? North of the clay pits, in the lagoon. They're just sitting there in the water, but there are some big sharks in there. Be careful. Where are these abandoned mines with your shiny stones? The mine is in the meadow, west of the temple. I'll see what I can find. Where are all your friends? They'll be coming soon, just a little longer. Speak up, child. I can't hear you. Never mind. I'll introduce you to them later. Okay. That's all I need to know. I'll see you later. I should be done here soon. Meet me at the cliff overlooking the lagoon, okay? I'll introduce you to my friends. Thanks, Mythios. This is the lagoon the little girl mentioned. That's enough pearls. Ah, the mines. That's where the shiny stones are.
the abandoned mines with the shiny stones. Got the pearls and the shiny stones. I should return to the little girl. The little girl and her friends. She got here sooner than I thought she would. Mistyos! You made it just in time! My friends have finally arrived! I... don't see anyone else here but us. <laughs> what? Silly, Mistyos. Can't you see them? They're right over there! The one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right is Erla. They look... friendly, but... I don't think they really count as your friends. What do you mean? They're my friends. I made them. I know you made them, but that the... Mata told me to make friends, Mistyos, and I did. This isn't the way to make friends. Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistyos. Mother is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But one day she came back, Mistyos. Her favorite white robe was all red. And she told me to take care of myself and make more friends. But I've never had any friends. I didn't know what she meant. So I thought really, really hard and made my friends out of clay. Did I make a mistake? Mother won't be upset at me, right? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. No, child, no. You did great. Your mother would be proud of you. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. I have an eagle, and he's a close friend of mine. Wow, really? That's so cool. Here you go. Your gifts for your friends as promised. Why don't you go put them on for them? I'm sure they'll like that. Thank you, Mistyos. You're the best. I'll go do that right now. <sighs> I'm sorry, child. I could not break your heart, even if it was good for you. I should check in on her later. 
Apollo's chariot comes. Some peasants need my attention. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear, beautiful, gullible, idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up! Etios picked her instead! He, he didn't even take a second look at me. Why would you do such a thing? Aetios can be no one's but mine. I'm the one who truly loves him. I grew up with him. I've always been the one looking out for him. You think I'd let some starry-eyed fledgling after his wealth steal the love of my life from me? Aetios doesn't know what's good for him. He's been eyeing this one for a while now. He liked the way she looked. So I changed that. <laughs> What happened to the potion? Why, she drank it. And look, it worked wonderfully. <laughs> she added a lock of my hair to the potion, and then made me drink it. I didn't feel anything strange at the time, but when I did, all my hair, it just began to fall off. What trickery is this? You used her hair in a spell? A spell? Are you idiots? If only something so convenient existed. It's simple alchemy. With a little knowledge of poisonous local flora, anything is possible. And wild mushrooms are known to cause violent reactions. But honestly, I've never seen anyone go bald. Just a horrible rash at best. This went better than I expected. <laughs> I was promised to rock me. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both! Kill her, Mistyos! You're crazy. You'll pay for this. She played the game and she lost. There's nothing to pay for. You believe she's innocent in all this? She tried to get ahead with magic, so spare me the hypocrisy. Just leave and take your bald friend with you. Please, Mistyos, do something! Guards! There is a witch in our midst! What are you doing? The Mistyos speaks the truth! Look what she did to me! She poisoned me and made me hideous! Someone, please help! Ah! You watch your back, Mistyos. I'll have your head. Oh, no! Come on! They're gone. It rained. It rained. And my friends disappeared again.
That's the goal now. Come on.
They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.
Ready to depart. Good to have you back, Commander. Keep up the speed! I don't see any soldiers here. Only pirates. They must be running the whole island.
gods have mercy! You want mercy? Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Alexios. Well, Alexios, we're all thought to be murderers too. So, tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Alexios. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Why do you need so much Drachmi? I have a city to secure and people to protect. I have no interest in going to war. I just want to make sure the war doesn't come to us. I don't have the Drachmi yet, but I'll return when I do. There's no rush on my part. If you need work, check with my people in the city. I'm sure they'd have use for a capable mercenary. Trust a pirate to only help for a boatload of Rakmi. If I'm going to pay her, I need to find some work on this island. The island now that everyone won't try to kill me on sight. Interesting. It seems Xenia doesn't control the entire island.
right there.
They're ruined! How will I find it without the tablet? Oh, that double-crossing Malakas! You sound they... troubled. I'm trying to steal Xenia a great treasure to celebrate her victory over Chaos, but the directions have been stolen. And I suppose you want someone to steal them back? I tried, but they were stolen by the leader of Coresia, who Xenia banished from the city. There's a new truce between them, but no pirate would touch that. Lucky for you, I'm no pirate. Are you saying you'll help me? There's something in it for you if you do. I suppose I could get your directions? Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last! So where am I going? To the other side of the island. You'll find the tablet in the leader's house there. Once you have it, head to the nearby village of Poisa and deliver it to my associate. You said the leader's house is near Piesa? Yes, to the south of the village. Where is Piesa? It's on the east coast of the island of Chaos. Don't worry. I'll get what you want. Xenia will be thrilled! I await your return. They burn everything. How do they expect to keep the people quiet?
I should try to stay out of sight. If there is a map, it's in there. This must be what she wants. all look so boring. What are you doing here? Oh, me? I was just in the area. What happened to your associate? He had other business to attend to. Left in a hurry. So I came to meet you. I see. Did you get the tablet? Before I hand over anything, I want my drachmi. <laughs> but of course. You're a man after my own heart, you know. Thanks. Here's the tablet. Excellent. Now we can really get to the matter at hand. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Huh. This is interesting. The treasure is hidden in some Minoan ruins. Ah, oh, but it's underwater. You can't swim? I'm a pirate. Of course I can fucking swim. I... just don't like sharks. 
Oh, so you're a coward, not a weakling. I don't need to swim if I have a reliable mercenary to do it for me. I might be interested in an adventure. I can promise you this will be one to remember. Else Poseidon stride and spear me and drag me to the crashing deep. All right. I suppose I can help you recover your treasure? I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last! So where am I going? Here. Take this key and head to the southern tip of Chaos. You'll find the entrance to the ruins there. It's sticky. Is that blood? Gods, no! Must have been the pomegranate I ate earlier. Hurry now. Time's a-wasting. What exactly is this treasure? It's said to be in the ancient ruins of Kinastros, so the treasure must be a rare artifact from before the island was settled. What's it like down there? The treasure is guarded by a frenzy of sharks. You'll find it in a chest at the heart of the island. Well, if it had been an easy job, you'd have done it yourself. How will I know if I'm looking in the right place? Head south from the lost garden of Bacchylides. Even though the ruins are underwater, you'll see them just off the coast. I'll get you what you want.
Water's pretty deep here. I should turn back. Ah, oh, there you are! Climb aboard! Get out of that shark infested water! My friend! You are a gift from Poseidon himself! I try my best. I'm going to need that artifact from you now. First, my pay. I don't think so. <laughs> Very funny. Now pay up. The last laugh is all mine. I'm in the business of double-crossing mercenaries. I didn't swim through sharks for this. That was your mistake, not mine. Deal's off. Now I'll kill you for wasting my time. You haven't got a chance. Take him out! This will be easy! I will end your miserable existence!
I should be extra careful in this area. Ah! 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 
something you need. Good to see you. What did we need? What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait, did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Ships are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. What kind of message do you want to send? Thinking some ships while flying her colors should do the trick? That's one way to do it. We're still pirates. We've a reputation to uphold in these waters. And nothing says, respect me, like a bit of blood spilling. Sounds to me like you're weakening the competition. Chaos not big enough for your ambitions? If we're going to take more territory, we wouldn't be hiring the likes of you. We'd do it ourselves. Best way to prevent an attack is to strike first. No arguments here. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, a few from Athens, and a few bandit ones too. That's a lot of ship sinking. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. Sails need repair, three broken oars on the top level, two on the second level, cracked spar. Ah, oh, never a day's rest. Bye, Zeus.
Yes? I've sunk the ships. I knew I liked you. Xenia will be pleased that her waters are back under her control. Flattery is fine, but I'm here for the bounty. Of course. The mighty not Spartan returns! Here, take your Zachmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need, how long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finnecas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. Twilight. I mean, how hard is it to take a merchant ship and get to Thera and back? Still, Xenia could have used that Miltos. The Drachmi would have been helpful in her fight against. Something we can help you with? Yeah, you were talking about the shipment. We weren't saying nothing. Nothing that concerns you, anyway. I'm always open to a good tale. Especially if it ends in misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> The ones with Gotars as always do. He's the worst captain on Chaos. I'd like to find this ship. Well, I'll help you if you can. Then you can bring us a story. What's Miltos, anyway? 
Miltos, the next best thing to gold. Fucking Athenians want it all for themselves. Self-important malacas. Do you know where I can find the ship? Could be anywhere, knowing Gotarsis. Oh, I heard the plan was to intercept the shipment near Lestris Island, due south of Chaos. Who is this captain you keep mentioning? Gotarsis. Be thankful you don't know. <laughs> the Parthenon's got more chance of staying afloat than him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you find that Miltos, be sure to come back and share the wealth. Of course, my friends. Malakis. If I can find the shipment of Miltos, it's easy money.
time, Gotars! I know the situation doesn't look good. Doesn't look good? We're fucking maroon! You can't blame me for the rocks. You're the child of God! Help me! Thank you. Knowingly or not, you've just saved my life. And was it worth saving? Get me back to Chaos, and I'll pay you handsomely. We'd better get you to my ship then. Go back to Gales. Gotarzis! That's not what I expected. Gotarzis! I thought I lost you this time. Where is your ship? Uh, the rocks around the isle were treacherous. Oh, I'm well aware of his nautical prowess. A goat could sail those waters. Malaka! What's important is that you're alive, brother. Is your brother? It would be easier if he wasn't. What happened to the crew? Those dogs turned on me! If it wasn't for this Mystios, you would be dead. Then you will be rewarded, Mystios. Family is family. No reward necessary. No. I am in your debt. Your armor, Gortag says. Give it to him. But this was father's! It's mine by birthright! Now! His armor... Belongs to someone worthy of it. Get that arrow! 
Join me and my crew. You're a sailor at heart, just like me. Ah, the mighty Mystios. You've proved yourself capable before. I could use your talents. One like you is always interested in more drachmi, yes? Payment is well and good, but I'm happy to help you. Tell me what you're thinking. I have an appetite for rare treasures. I've heard many veiled rumors and provocative stories, and I want you to recover some of these lost wonders for me. Tell me where to look, and I'll bring you these treasures. Have you heard of the mighty Ajax? One of Homer's heroes? Yes. He had a golden eagle feather, a gift from Zeus. And why do you care about it? It is a rare reminder of a glorious age, and so deserves to be in my grasp. Take these maps and see if you can find it. Where will I find this golden eagle feather? Different tales place it at different locations. I have maps showing where you might find it. What can you tell me about Ajax's feather? The son of Talamon was said to be a fearless giant. Some say the golden feather that gave him courage was woven into a shield crafted of seven ox hides. The shield is long destroyed, but Zeus's feather remains. I'll find this feather for you, if it's there to be found. This doesn't seem to be what Xenia's looking for, but it will fill my purse nicely. I should watch my step around here. Thank you. 
I should be extra careful in this area. Your knife is 
Give my regards to Hades.
day is breaking. be good. I think this is the right spot. Empty. Someone else had the same idea. The gods will abandon us. We are doomed. The gods will curse our names. It can't be that bad. Oh, it's terrible. Tell me what happened. The lighthouse was plundered by bandits. The terrors of Kignos. I fear they've gone to the McKinian tomb of Ajax. I'll deal with them. Oh, no. There are too many of them. They won't expect anyone to come after them. I'll sneak up and surprise them. Off we go now. Don't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Huh? What are you doing here?
The watch will be vigilant here. Hippocrates, it's good you're here. Is it? Look around you. Athens is dying. What do you think is going on? I don't know. 
What I do know is that he kills without discrimination. Rich, poor, philosopher or farmer, and I'm helpless to stop it. What's happening to the victims? Leaking, postulant rashes, raging fevers, pallid, sweaty skin. I find many dying in their own excrement. Is there nothing that can be done? I try and ease the suffering where I can. The plague is spreading through the victims' excretions. I'm sure of it. The bodies must be burned. Your compassion for the people has always inspired me. Unfortunately, compassion is all I have to give. The gods have shown me how arrogant I had become. We're only mortal, and the gods like to remind us whenever they can. I need help burning the bodies, Alexios. Fanatics are roaming the streets trying to stop me in my work. What fanatics? The followers of Ares. Superstitious fools. They believe burning the dead is sacrilege and attacked me. Can you believe it? These followers of Ares don't worry me. I'll help burn the bodies. Please, burn the corpses, and beware of the fanatics trying to stop us. I can't lose you too. May you reach Hades safely. Another body safe from the fanatics.
I hope this is the worst of it. That's all of them. Alexios, you're back. Got to run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Alexios, it's good to have you back. I've never seen anything like this. Those who are killed by the plague run wild in the streets. Death is rampant and it's only a warning. We have ignored what truly plagues us for too long. Cleon. How can you worry about him at a time like this? Uh, under his reign, Athens will lose the freedom and glory that has put it on the world stage. It is time to turn my words into actions. How? You will find out as soon as I do. Understand! Pericles is a sick man! Don't blame him! him for bringing this curse that creeps our once great city! I didn't expect to see you. What do you think you're doing? You're driving this mob to madness. This, this is nothing! I will make Athens great again! We are Athenians! We settle our
Aspasia. Oh, Alexios. You've returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother, her name, her ship. Alexios, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight this sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Alexios. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. Ah. Ah. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses his no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people... Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena. But it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. It's not the gods' fault. It's the world. It's turned upside down. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Alexios. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. 
You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Yere. This looks like the place. By the gods. What happened here? This was savage. Done to send a message. Lemos must be carrying through on her threat. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe.
that it. Mother of all, I greet you. Anias. Alexios! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Alexios! <sighs> I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with him. I agree, my friend, I agree. There you are, Alexios. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Vivi was killed by cult guards before I could get to her. Oh, no. Dear Phoebe. She died alone in the street. No, you found her. She wasn't alone. I know how much of a friend she was to you. I won't let them get away with this. You have to fight. For her. Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles. <gasps> Go! Stay out of my way. Ah! 
I'll tear you apart! <laughs> All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave. Don't let them go. Ah! <laughs> 
Clear now. Let's go. We're going to stay, Alexios. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. You want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me. Both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Alexios. I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles and Athens. You have no need to apologize for anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Alexios. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough, and they struck when the time was right. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. 